Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week we're here to figure out which creature deck is the best in CEDH. So we have Momir Vig Hackball, Yisan Midrange, Hullen CIA, and Najila Tempo. Begin. Begin. Draw a card. Play a Verdant Catacombs and pass my turn. Draw. Play a Flooded Strand. I'm going to crack it and find a Tropical Island. Pass an Elvish Mystic. Pass turn. Draw a turn. Forest into Burgeoning. So go. Well, I'm going to give you one here with a Forest. Burgeoning. I'm going to cast Mana Crypt and cast Yisan the Wanderer Bard. Who's the Yisan deck here? End of turn, I'm going to crack Verdant Catacombs. Get a Badlands. Cast Vampiric Tutor. Put that card on top. Draw a card. An Exotic Orchard. Cast Mana Crypt. Cast Nijila. Pass my turn. Draw. Forest for turn. Sacrifice Elvish Mystic Neophone. You know him. You love him. It's Gilded Drake. ETB trigger on the stack targeting Gila. Cast a Fintwin Elves. Pass turn. Draw. Play a Feast. I'll play Yisan, the Wandering Bard. You guys like that card, huh? Pass my turn. Well, it sounds like Burgeoning's pretty dead now, so I can play a Fetch Land here. I'm going to cast the Boreal Druid, and then that'll be all, everybody. And step, I will cast Mystical Tutor. I'll get Demonic Consultation. Roll for Mana Crypt. No damage. Oh, I forgot to do that on my turn. Cheater. Fucking cheater. It's an odd. I'm taking it. I'm going to draw a card. Play Scrubland. Pass. Draw. I'm going to move to combat and declare Najila as an attacker at Brandon, getting a 1-1 warrior. The 1-1 warrior is going at Brandon. All right, I'm going to stop him with the power of music, but I'm going to take the three. Land for turn, mana confluence, and I will pass the turn. Draw. I'm going to cast Sylvan's Cry. Fine, Guy's Cradle. I will play Guy's Cradle, and then I will pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I am going to activate Yisan, Wirewood Symbiote. Go to my turn, play a Tundra. Did you roll for your mana crypt? No. I even put a dice on top, but then I shuffled. Rolled a four. Cast Hullen here. Cast... What? Hold on. Hold on. Technically, the what the name is based off of is some ancient lore, and the the, the character's name is pronounced Hullen, or more like Hullen. The f the first thing in the primer is specifically a pronunciation guide on how to say Hullen. Pass the turn. End step. I will cast Eladamri's call. I hope I'm saying that one right. Eladamri's? Uh, it's actually based on an ancient myth, and it's pronounced Marsha. <laughs> Here's a story. Untap. Mana Crypt. No damage. Draw a card. Brandon, I'll attack you for four in the air. Cast Diabolic Intent. Sacrificing the Gilded Drake. One mana. Floating. Burgeoning trigger. Cast a Mind Blade Render. Pussy. Pussy move. Pussed out right there. If you're keeping along so far that you've noticed that I've tutored for both Demonic Consultation and Athasa's Oracle. And at that point, I also tutored for the second blue land that I needed. Everything up to here is peachy and great, but for some reason right now, I decide that it's not worth it to try to go for the consult win just yet because I'm afraid of Tyler's open mana. Looking back, he had two cards in his hand. There's no way he would have had anything. I was safe, I should have gone there. I had interaction in my hand, so I thought that I could wait another turn cycle and do it more protected. Ah. Yeah. I am still debating on whether or not I should have actually cast Hull in there or if I should have just kept trying to do uh, Yisan lines. My goal is always to get down Hull in as quickly as I can, but I feel like a turn one Yisan is just too powerful, and I feel like if I would have just kept going up the chain, there are a couple of combos that you can get. Pass my turn. Yeah. Move to combat. Dylan, I will attack you with Najila and her 1 1 warrior token. I'll block the 1 1 and take 3. Wire would symbiote. Last turn. End of your turn. I'm going to put a verse counter. Find Quarian Ranger. Untap. Draw. Activate Yusan. I'm going to find Collector Oof. Activate Quarian Ranger. Untap Yusan. Return to Forest in my hand. Play Forest for turn. Cast Winter Warp. And then I will pass turn. Well, I feel a little fucked now. You know, if I had done Yusan on my previous turn, this turn I could have Yusan for, oh, I don't know, a Reclamation Sage. I definitely missed my opportunity. I got to take three damage from a Mana Cripple. Play Flooded Grove. Burgeoning Trigger. I'm going to respond to the trigger. Activate Yisan. It's on the sword. So Burgeoning Trigger still on the stack. I'm going to activate Korean Ranger to untap Yisan and return this force to my hand. And then I'm going to add this force to play. Go to combat. I'm going to have Holland come at Tyler for two. And that's commander damage, so take note of that. I'm so embarrassed that I've cast four tutors this game, and I don't think I'm going to win it. One of those tutors was for a blue land, right? Nah, nah. Who's to <laughs> s I mean, who's to say what it was for? I think it is best to not to hold off. All right, I'm, I gotta hold off one more turn. Go ahead. I will untap one land, Exotic Orchard, roll for Mana Crypt, so that I can't use it. Draw for turn. Combat. Tyler, I'll come at you for one. Lose a life, draw a card. Fuck all. Cast Mystic Remora. 
pass my turn. Draw. Move to combat. Dylan, I'm going to swing at you with Najila and a 1 1 warrior. Pass the turn. Untap just guys. Draw. Four mana. Activate Isan. Maintain priority. Activate Korean Ranger. Return a force to my hand to untap Isan. And then activate Isan again. So I'll end up getting two fives. I'm going to find Seaborn Muse and Somberwald stack. Somberwald stack enters the battlefield. Have it fight Chulain. Man, that's a real B. Cast swords targeting the stag. Can I draw a card? Yes. And you know, if I would have just kept going up this Isan chain, I wouldn't <laughs> have had Chulain in play, and I would have already gotten the value. And then I will play a land for turn. Pass the turn. All right, go to my turn. I get to untap one land. I get to untap everything. I'm going to roll for crypt. Take damage. Prismatic Vista here. Burgeoning trigger. I'll activate Isan. I will find Woodland Bellower. No, let's hit the priest. I'm returning... The forest, untap Isan, and then playing it with the burgeoning trigger. Now, now I'm done, sorry. I'm going to go to my combat step, and I'm going to attack Tyler for two. And then that's all I'm going to do. I have to activate Isan for seven. Regal Force. I'm going to respond to the Regal Force ETB trigger. Cast Force of Vigor, exiling Vexing Shusher, targeting Winter Orb and burgeoning. Yeah, so they'll go. I draw eight. I'm going to use my Beast Within and pay for Mystic Remora <laughs> to blow up your underground seat. I'll cast Flusterstorm, I guess. Move Dylan's turn. Pay for the Mystic Emerald for Mana Crypt. Draw a card. Cast Thassa's Oracle. Hold priority on the trigger. Cast Demonic Consultation. Cast Negate. <laughs> targeting Demonic Consultation. May I draw a card? Yep, that's fine. Thassa's Oracle trigger for three. Tyler, I will attack you for one. I will also take one and draw a card off of Mindblade Render. Play an Arid Mesa. Pass. Did you have the Negate turns ago when I could have? I don't know if it was last turn or the turn before. No. You didn't have it then, so I could have I could have went off then? I drew it last turn. Damn it. I will move to combat. Dylan, I will attack you with two warriors. You make two more warriors. I will. They will also come at you. Block one of them? Cast an Arbor Elf and pass turn. So I'm going to activate Isan. I'm Hoof. Hoof trigger nine. I'm going to untap Isan. 46. I can. 42 at Tyler. 22 at Dylan. We're dead. Hoof, there it is. <laughs> Draw a card. Volcanic Island and cast Preordain. Leave him on top. Draw one of them. Pass turn. Draw a card. Play a Yavamaya Coast. Preordain. Copycat. Bottomed both and then I will draw. Pass turn. Key. Drop Forest. Promox imprinting Eternal Witness. Green Sun Zenith for one. Our Elf is technically better. And I'll be done for that. Here comes Camp. Temple Garden untapped. And I'm going to cast me an Avacyn's Pokemon. Pass the turn. Draw a card. Play a Tarnished Citadel. Cast a Wild Growth on the Volcanic Island here. Tap that guy for two. Cast OK, my adversary. Pass my turn. Draw. Forest. Cure as follower. Pass turn. Upkeep. Draw. Play a Snow Covered Forest. Cast Yisan, the Wandering Bard. Wirewood. Symbiote. Sick up. Pay two life for Hollow Fountain. Mystic Remora. And I'm also going to cast an Arbor Owl. Pass the turn. Draw a card. Play Badlands. Cast Najila. Cameron, I'm gonna go to combat. I'm coming at you. Attack with Okim Adversary. Trigger Najila. I'll have a 1-1. One, one. The 1-1 one, one is also coming at you. Okim will trigger and I'll draw a card. Pass. Draw. Tropical Island. Virtual Rangers. Cast Neoform. Attacking QR's follower as additional cost. Can I draw a card? You may. I'm gonna get a Lanomar Tribe. Colorless. Tap these two untapped elves for one green. Cast a Collector Oof. Pass turn. Draw. Prismatic Vista. Pass. Good on my turn. Pay for fish. Gaius Cradle. Cast. Hold in. Pass the turn. Draw card. Play Windswept Heath. I'll go to combat. Okay, my adversary at Cameron. I'm going to send Najila and a warrior at Brandon. Three more warriors off of the Najila attack. All three of them at Cam. Can I ask a very important question? Sure. Why do people call Okay, my adversary Grob? Green Bob, because it's kind of like Dark Confidant, because it draws you one card a turn. I think it's kind of silly. It's kind of more like a, like a Shadow Mage for Trader, not really a Dark Confidant. I don't, yeah, I don't love that. I'm going to block one of the 1-1s. One I'll block my 1-1. One one. I have two warriors that die, and I get an Okay, draw. Draw a card. Pass my turn. Draw. Cast Momirvig. Cast Mindbend targeting Momirvig. Can I draw a card? You may. I'm going to change his second ability to say when you cast a green creature spell, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put that card into your hand. Tap two untapped elves I control to add one green mana wirewood symbiote. Trigger, trigger. I'll stack the trigger such that I search first, put it on top, and then get, put that creature into hand. I'm going to reveal Nettle Sentinel. Return Birchlore Rangers to hand to untap Lanoir Tribe. Float three green. Cast Nettle Sentinel. Trigger Vig. Put Heritage Druid on top, and then put it in hand. Cast Heritage Druid. Vig trigger. I will Swords to Plowshare the Momir Vig in response. Swords resolves. I have a Vig trigger to resolve now. I'm going to find Quirion Ranger. I will use my one remaining 
foot in green. Cast Quirion Ranger. Tap three elves to float three green with Heritage Druid. Cast Birch Lore Rangers, Nettle Sentinel Trigger. Use Quirion Ranger's ability to return a forest I control to my hand, Tropical Island, to untap Lanamar Tribe. Land for turn, Tropical Island. Cast Momirvig. Trigger. I can generate one, just one's not enough. Oh, so close. Okay, pass turn. And your turn, I'm gonna activate Yusan. Ranger, correct this Prismatic Vista too. Untap turn, draw. I think I'm passing. Yeah. All right, we'll go to my turn. We're gonna let the Mystic Remora die. Burian Ranger, two lane trigger. Draw a card, land into play. Boreal Druid, draw a card, a land into play. Wirewood Symbiote trigger, go land into play. Tap Arbor Elf to untap Temple Garden. Float a white. We return Avison's Pilgrim to my hand to untap Arbor Elf, so I'm using Wirewood's ability. Use that white and a green. Cast Oakum Adversary. Draw no land this time, though. Recast Avison's Pilgrim. Draw a card. No land again. Oh, shit. I'm stupid. I should have done something with Quirion. Quirion Ranger before. I have not made a land drop for turn yet. So I can still Quirion Ranger back a forest to untap Arbor Elf. Seven mana, Sylvan Library, Finale of Devastation for three. Fuck off. I'm gonna fetch with the Windswept Heath in response. I'll cast Eldamri's Call in response. I'm gonna get a Bird Wizard and then pass priority. That's worrisome. That's what he's on. Hunter Priest Titania. And then pass priority. Pretty much what everyone guessed, even Mind Sensor. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna send Hullen at Dylan for two. I didn't play land for turn. I have forest for turn. Pass. In your end step, I'm gonna activate Wirewood Symbiote to return Heritage Druid to my hand, untapping Lanoir Tribe. Draw a card, play an underground sea. Cast Derevi, Imperial Tactician. Counter spell? The Veil of Summer. Fierce Guardianship, The Veil of Summer? Counter spell's good. Go to combat. Brandon, I'll come at you with uh, three warriors here, making three more warriors. Yeah, that's fine. Draw a Pokemon. I'll cast Diabolic Intent, sacrificing one of the warriors. I can't even search right now. I'm only searching the top four because of even Mind Sensor. Sick. Well, I'm going to do that because I'm an idiot. Pass my turn. In your end step, I'm going to generate a blue with Birch Lore Rangers and generate three green. Cast Glamour Die, targeting Momirvig. So we're going to hack him the same way, obviously. Also in end step, I'm going to use Wirewood Symbiote to return Nettle Sentinel to hand, untapping Lenore Tribe. Move to on top. I think I'm gonna try and go off through Avon Mind Sensor, and it I, that's hilarious. I just wanna try. This next part is pretty interesting, so pay attention. Draw for turn. Cast Heritage Druid. Momir Vic Trigger. Reveal the top card, and if it's a creature card, put it in my hand, despite not finding anything to put on top. Um, uh, nope. Cast Nettle Sentinel. Cast Trigger Vig. No dice. A fucking moron, guys, did you know? Um, resolve the second half of Vig. Vizier the Menagerie in hand. Cast Winds of Rebuke, targeting Even Mind Sensor. Alright, that's fine. And then we each mill two. Somber Wild Sage, Breeding Pool. Float three green with Lanoir Tribe. That's not the right thing to do. I am gonna float three green, but I'm gonna do it like this. Heritage Druid, Korean Ranger. Cast Vizier the Menagerie. Yep. Vig triggers. In response to Vizier, I can still recast even Mind Sensor here and get a uh, Hullen trigger. Draw a card. All right, that's it. Real quick, I want to mention, so you actually tapped wrong. You used the Avacyn's Pilgrim here to tap for your even Mind Sensor, but your Avacyn's Pilgrim just came in this turn because you had to recast it this turn. You could have cast it, you just would have had to activate Quirion Dryad to bounce a forest and untap your Arbor Elf to then untap the Temple Garden. So you did have enough mana, you just should have a forest in your hand, and the Abyssin's Pilgrim should be untapped. It doesn't make a difference. Resolving the Momirvig, nothing, once again. The reveal half of the Momirvig trigger. Voyaging Seder, put that in hand. I'm gonna look at the top card, because Vizier says I can. Float three green, cast Voyaging Seder. Respond to the Nettle Sentinel trigger, tapping three elves to generate three more green. Nettle Sentinel trigger, Vig trigger. Revealing Draga Tree Speaker, cast. Draga Tree Speaker. Big trigger. Reveal Sidisu's Faithful and put it in my hand. Cast Sidisu's Faithful. Exploit Voyaging Seder. Return Even Mind Sensor to its owner's hand. So, since I haven't used Wirewood Symbio or Quirion Ranger yet, what I'm going to be doing is returning an elf so I have another um, creature tutor to play with Wirewood Symbio to get Teemer Sabertooth. With Teemer Sabertooth, and use Quirion Ranger to untap Lenomar Tribe again to get up to six floating mana. At which point I will be able to cast Teamer Sabertooth, bounce 
Wirewood Symbiote and replay Wirewood Symbiote. When I replay Wirewood Symbiote, I find a Phantasmal image copying Nettle Sentinel. The second Nettle Sentinel starts letting me generate infinite by bouncing Wirewood Symbiote and returning um, Heritage Druid or whatever, replaying Heritage Druid and off of the two Nettle Sentinel and taps, I end up spending one green, green, green for the Teamer Sabertooth plus the two creatures that I need to play to net six green. From there, I can generate infinite green. Once I have infinite green, I can start using the loop with Birch Lore Rangers to generate infinite blue. Finale of Devastation. Did you guys get that? Did you get... I'm not sure if you followed it. <laughs> <laughs> this game also really showed not only how powerful Quarian Ranger is, but also how powerful Wirewood Symbiote is in these tapping and untapping Elf Ball Yisan style creature based decks. Rockard. Snow Covered Forest. Burgeoning. Go ahead. Did you draw a card? City of Brass, pass. City of Brass, burgeoning trigger. Nicholas. We're dead. Draw. I will also play a City of Brass, cast an Elvish Mystic, pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Back the Burden Catacomb, forest, cast Isan. And pass turn. And step, I will cast a Worldly Tutor. Oh shit, Dylan. I forgot to start recording. Let me know if you haven't noticed that Cam wasn't here for the first turn cycle of that game. If you were just spacing out. <laughs> Here, I'm just gonna run through some stuff real quick. Play Arid Mesa, fetch to go get a Savannah and cast a Carpet of Flowers. Oh, well nobody has any islands. Uh, well, I am going to play an island of my own, cast a Sylvan Tutor, and get a Noble Hierarch. Pass the turn. I'm gonna find a Dranith Magistrate with Worldly Tutor. Let's see who can find a Gilded Drake first. Draw card. Exotic Orchard, cast Dranith Magistrate. Pass. Draw. Gemstone Caverns. Cast a Birds of Paradise. Cast a Sylvan Library. Pass turn. Draw. Activate Yisan. Find Quarian Ranger. Untap Yisan. Returning Snowcover Force to my hand. Play Snowcover Force. Return. Then Horn Elves. And... Stick up. I'll cast a Quarian Ranger and then use Quarian Ranger's ability to return Savannah to my hand and use that as my land drop to cast Noble Hierarch. I will pass the turn. Then. I'm going to Burging Trigger to end in a way that this is untapped. With Kyrian Ranger, untapping Nissan to bounce in my hand, and then putting it back to play. Alright, now I will pass the turn that. Draw card. Tarnish Citadel. I'm gonna cast Abrupt Decay on Nissan. Oh, I don't like that. Attack Tyler. Go ahead. Sylvan Library. I will keep all three. Cavern of Souls, naming Elf. Cast a Priority. Bottom, bottom. Draw. Pass turn. Draw. I'm gonna cast Boreal Druid. Carpet of Flowers. I will move to my second main phase. Generate a green from Cameron's One Island. Activate Nyxos... Four, five. Bounce the forest. Untap elf. Play a land. I'll play saber tooth. Collector. Oof. I think they go for now. Draw for turn. Oboro for turn. Pass. Draw card. Shock and breeding pool. Cast rustic study. Tyler, I'll get you for one. Pass my turn. In end step, cast nature's claim, targeting rustic study. Can draw card. No. Draw Sylvan library. I will keep three. I'm gonna play a verdant catacombs. I'm gonna crack it right away. Tropical. Island. You're welcome, Cam. Cast Sidisi's Faithful. Bouncing Dranith Magistrate. Exploit Sidisi's Faithful with itself. Cast Momirvik. Pass to Brandon. Draw. Land for turn. Oh, uh, make a green, obviously. Activate Nykthos. Eight. I will use five of it to recast Yisan. Try to manage drain then. Yep. All right, I'll use my remaining three. I'll play Tanglewire. Tyler, I'm going to come at you for six. I'm going to activate Ranger to return this forest and untap the saber to pass again four okay three mana three mana drain mana and i have one carpet of flowers mana so i think carpet green mana return savannah to untap noble play savannah virgin tree play a forest cast pollen and then use my last floating and a green to cast Priest of Titania, get a Holland trigger, pass the turn. End step, I will cast Vampiric Tutor. I will get this card. Untap, Tango Archer, tap four things. Draw card, pass the turn. Upkeep, I am going to tap Sylvan Library. I'm going to keep just one. Play an island, cast Mind Bend, targeting Momirvig. I'm going to Fierce Guardian ship it. Cast a Veil of Summer. I don't have anything for that. Draw a card for Veil of Summer. Hacking the second ability to green. Cast a Birch Lore Rangers. Vig trigger. I'm going to get Wirewood Symbiote. Tap these two elves to add one green. Cast Wirewood Symbiote, cast Trigger, search, finding Nettle Sentinel. Activate Wirewood Symbiote, returning Birch Lore Rangers to my hand to untap Elvish Mystic. Cast Birch Lore Rangers, trigger. 
heritage druid and put it in my hand. Pass turn. All right, untap, upkeep, three permanents. We'll draw a card. I'll add two green mana. I'll activate Nykthos for eight. Try to cast Isan for seven. Activate Korean Ranger to return a force to my hand to untap Boreal Druid. This feels really bad, but I think if I don't do it, you die to Tyler. Bane of Progress. I have to kill the Tangle Wire so that hopefully you guys can stop Tyler from winning. Five total things. I mean, it's also possible that I just let Cam win, but like I, I know we're dying here. Maybe Cam doesn't have anything with him that'll, that'll kill us. And then I guess I attack Tyler for six. Cam, I need you to do me a favor. Don't kill us, but stop Tyler. Or kill Tyler. You can do whatever you want. Cast a Mana Breach. Cast Elvish Mystic. Mana Breach trigger, return a land to my hand. Hull and trigger, draw. Priest currently taps for nine mana. Cast Reclamation Sage. Return Boboro to my hand from Mana Breach. Hull and trigger, draw. Put a land into play. Breeding Pool, I'll pay two life. No targets. Hullen is going to return Elvish Mystic. To recast Elvish Mystic, returning Island to my hand. Get a Hullen trigger, put Island back into play. That was stupid, Cameron. Let's use Quirion Ranger to return Savannah to untap Hullen. Have Hullen return Quirion Ranger. Recast Quirion Ranger. Mana Breed, returning Island. Holland Trigger is on the stack. I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna activate Wirewood Symbiote, returning Elvish Mystic, and untapping Momirvig. And then I will tap Momirvig and Birchlore Rangers to generate a blue. Cast Pongify, targeting Priest of Titania. I guess that has to happen. So Priest is gonna go down. I have a 3 3 beast. Holland Trigger is draw a card, a land into play. I can't believe I haven't been tapping these lands to float mana before I'm fucking returning them. It's fine, because I still have a Quirion Ranger. Float a green, Quirion Ranger, untap, noble hierarch. I have not played a land for turn yet. Cast the Wanderer Bard. Mana Breach and Hullen Triggers. Turn Savannah, draw, put Savannah back into play. That, ladies and gentlemen, is where we can leave things off. Draw card. Fire Covenant. I will have to pay four life, one, two, three, four, just to make the mana to do it. 24 life, attempting to sign lethal damage to all creatures except for Collector Oof, Bane of Progress, and Reclamation Sage, and the 3 3. I'm pretty sure I did the math on that right. Return City of Brass for the mana breach. I will use Wiry Wood Symbiote to return Momir Vig to my hand. I'm going to return this snow covered forest to my hand with. Quirion Ranger to untap Oriole Druid. Then I will tap to add a colorless, tap to add a green to activate Timir Sabretooth. I'll turn Yisun to my hand and give Sabretooth indestructible. Kill all your creatures that are allowed to still be dead. I'm fucking dead. Play a City Brass as my land for turn, cast a Dranith Magistrate, trigger that land thing, and I will bounce a City Brass to my hand. Pass turn. Untap. Nettle Sentinel, returning Trop Island. Play Trop Island as land for turn. Day one green, cast Heritage Druid, returning Trop Island. Cast Lanoir Elves, returning Floater Green with City of Brass, losing one life. Returning City of Brass. Use the Floating Green, cast an Elvish Mystic, returning Gemstone Cavern. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I'm going to activate Nykthos for five. Cast Isan the Wandering Bard. Mana Beach Trigger. I'll return Nykthos to I have two Flood. Play Nyctos, now play Elvish Mystic. Bouncing land. Go to combat Tyler with these three creatures. I'm gonna block the two largest ones with Lenoir Elves and Elvish Mystic respectively. Go to damage. And then I pass turn. Go to my turn. Play a land. I'm gonna go to combat, attack Dylan with my 3-3 three, three beast. Okay, I'll take three. And then I am going to pass the turn. I wonder if I should have blocked that. Draw card. City of Brass. Cast Linvala. We're just, uh, just gonna be a stack stack, even though this will surely get me attacked to death. Is that okay? Everyone, you like that? You like that shit? I do have to bounce a land, and I already played a land. I will bounce the City of Brass. Pass my turn. Draw. Trap Island. Cast a Somber Old Sage. Pass turn. Bounce land. Bounce land. Draw. Untap. Draw for turn. I'm gonna go to a combat. I will attack Dylan with these three creatures. Bummer. Um, yeah, I'll block Teamer Sabretooth with a... Linvala and block the Bane of Progress with Dranith Magistrate and then yeah, die. I will then I'll then play a land for turn in Snow Covered Forest and pass the camera. Alright, go to my turn. I'll play a land in a forest with craft returning flooded grove. I am then going to pass the turn. Untap Drua. Play an island. 
Why am I so bad at this game? One green and cast Glimpse of Nature, returning Tropical Island to hand. Cast Momir Vig, returning island, Nettle Sentinel trigger, Glimpse of Nature trigger to draw a card. That does not help. Pass turn. End of your turn. I'm going to activate Nykthos for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Activate Isan. The Wirewood Symbiote. Tap Elvish Mystic to add another green. Activate Wirewood Symbiote. Returning Elvish Mystic. Untap Isan. And then pay 3 green to activate Isan for a 2 drop. Scrib Ranger is in play. Now I go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Activate Nykthos. I have 6. Activate Isan for 3. Find Reclamation Sage. Targets Mana Breach. Let's activate the Wirewood. Bounce the Rex Sage, untap Yusan, pay three, search for four. I find Thought Knots here. Hammer in. Okay, so it's Obero Island, Flooded Strand, Nature's Claim, Linvala, and Force of Will. Linvala, please. Play land for turn. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack with these four creatures at Tyler. I think blocking the little ones counts as spite play. I don't think I'm supposed to not block at all, though, because. Oh, well, I've seen Cameron's hand, so in this case, I actually know that there isn't anything you can do to interact. So in that case, I think I declare no blocks. Pass turn, but pause in your upkeep. Okay, upkeep. I'll cast Force of Vigor, exiling Elvish Mystic to destroy the Earthcraft. I'm going to Nature's Claim it in response to gain four life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try to kill me now. Go to my draw. Play a land. Pass a turn. Draw. Land for turn. Activate Nykthos 6. Activate Yisan. Yisan triggers on the stack. Return a forest. Untap Yisan to activate Yisan a second time and find two six drops. Really? I thought I had two targets. Oh, you know what I do? It's Bane of Progress. Oh, now I only get Woodland Bellower. Search for a non legendary green creature with a runeback for three less. Man, I I'm looking forward to the comment section being filled with just as the worst Yisan player I've ever seen. I'll find this Eternal Witness. Saber tooth. I'm gonna go to combat. I wanna give you the card off of the Thought Knots here, so I'll just attack for seven. I'll pass. To my turn. Play an Obero and pass the turn. Draw. Activate Nyctos for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pay 3 to activate Yisan. Up to 7. Regal Force. I respond to the Regal Force trigger. Return Force to untap Yisan with Scrib Ranger. Activate Yisan for 8. I have Swan Song and Aloran. I don't think that they're going to do anything here. Poof. For a billion. And swing. Jesus, those were grindy games. Yeah, these creature matchups, they do not let up. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that Yisan won the best creature matchup game though, because Yisun really is a powerhouse among creature decks. Real quick before you go, we also have t-shirts. They're only available for another week. You can check the link in the description below if you'd like to purchase one, or you can check out our Patreon if you'd like to get one for a deal. Thanks for watching, check out the Patreon. <sighs> oh my God, sitting on the floor is no good.